so speak ye and so do as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. So what's he saying? He begins to preach Jesus. He turns it right back around. He starts preaching the gospel. He preaches Jesus. He's going to give them a history lesson. And he starts out by saying, Jesus appeared to our fathers. He, he appeared to Abraham. And the, right, so the elders and the scribes at the council, they want to say, is it true? Did you say you destroyed the temple? Did he answer about the temple? No. Instead, he said, well, I got the stage. Let's preach Jesus. Let's prove to them that the Son of God, it's always been prophesied, that he should come. What did he say? He said, get, he said unto him, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from the land which I shall show thee. We talked about this last week, right? We're in Genesis chapter 12. Jesus Christ shows up to Abraham and says, go, I have a plan. I'm going to preach the gospel to him. That was that same event that it's talking about. So Stephen, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, does the same thing. He preaches the gospel that was preached to Abraham. So he gives them this, his this history lesson from the scriptures and the prophecy of Jesus. He goes through a series of men. He goes through Abraham. Jacob, Joseph, and then Moses. And for the sake of time, let's skip ahead to verse number 30 and look at Moses. And when 40 years were expired, there appeared unto him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai an angel of the Lord in a flame of fire a bush. When Moses saw it, he wondered at the sight. And as he drew near to it, behold, the voice of the Lord came unto him, saying, I am the God of thy fathers the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Then Moses trembled and durst not behold. So as he goes through and gives them a history lesson from the scriptures that they all probably know, then he brings up, by the way, Abraham, he knew Jesus, right? He gets to Moses, what's he saying? The angel of the Lord, the voice of the Lord said, I am the God of thy fathers. Jesus appeared in the burning bush unto Moses. Look at verse 37. This is that Moses, which said unto the children of Israel, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall ye hear. So Moses did the same thing. He preached Jesus just as Abraham preached the Son of God, just as Abraham dealt with his son. That was the picture of the gospel. And so Moses preaches the same thing. Verse 38, this is he that was in the church, in the wilderness, with the angel which spake to him in the Mount Sinai, and with our fathers who received the lively oracles to give unto us. So, what angel was both with Abraham and with Moses that gave the lively oracles? Lively means alive, oracles means word. Who gave the living word of God? Well, that's Jesus Christ. The Son of God is that angel. He is also that prophet that he said he would rise up to them. And so Jesus actually gave us the Ten Commandments, and Jesus was with the church in the wilderness, back then with Moses. So look, the church has always existed. It's a congregation of born-again believers. And the nation of Israel was simply a picture of the spiritual nation to come, the church. We are here as a local congregation. We are gathered together in one spirit. We have one God. We have one Bible. We give God the glory for it all. They did the same thing with Moses. Moses instructed them in the same technique. Look at verse number 9. To whom our fathers would not obey. Now, who were the fathers not obeying? Jesus, right? It's a salvation issue. He said, to whom our fathers would not obey, but thrust him from them, and in their hearts turn back again to Egypt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, what happens when somebody turns in their heart away from God? What happens when you preach Jesus to somebody, and they reject Jesus? Reprobate. Reprobate. 